Well, good morning, good morning, guys. Today is our final day in El Bolson after extending our trip like a million times. Well, only twice. But yes, we've been here a while and we have loved it. A big reason is the place where we got to stay, this beautiful wooden cottage, and also our host, Valentin, our Airbnb host who became a friend and literally drove us all over town and like to nearby communities. It just made the trip so much more special because we got to see parts of El Bolson that otherwise we never would have made it to. So before we take off, we wanted to give you guys a little tour because this place is pretty amazing. So we're gonna start with the interior of the cottage and then we're gonna move on to the outside because we have a beautiful garden with gazebos and little ponds and streams and a barbecue. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Today we are traveling, Samuel. Where are we off to? What is next for us? Uh, Villa La Agostura. Villa Langostura, we're gonna yeah. be taking a bus there, stopping in Bariloche for yes. one hour. For an hour. So it is a travel day. It's a travel day and hopefully we have some nice weather. I think we will. The scenery on any time we've been taking bus rides in Patagonia has been fantastic. It's all mountains and lakes. And it's yeah, great. We are gonna miss El Bolson so much. Yes. Our host Valentin was the best. Um, took us to all these special events. And yeah, we have, we've made a friend here, so uh, we will be back again in El Bolson in the future. Okay, so we begin. This is the entrance, the front door, and as soon as you come in, you basically have an open concept space. So, we had our little living area. This yep. can actually turn into a bed if it could you be. have a fifth guest, because you can fit four people upstairs. Yes. And another one here, or you can just lounge around, read books, hang out. Yeah. We had. A lovely heater that we did turn on in the Often. evenings. Yes. Because it is starting to cool oh. down here in Patagonia. I have it on right at the moment, oh, in fact. Oh, yes. It's so toasty. Staying warm before we head out. The, the heater works so well, like it, it doesn't just warm the, the basement, it, it, it carries. Warms the upstairs. It carries to the upstairs. It and yeah. it's just so toasty in here. I love it. Yes. And then this was our dining area. Valentin left us some teas. Yeah. Also, when we arrived, we had a fresh loaf of bread that lasted like two days. We we're like, oh, and then we gobbled that up quick. So good. Yeah. Um. Then here we have our fridge. Do we have anything in our fridge at the moment? Do we leave anything? Ooh. Well, we're just leaving maybe, a few things. Maybe we should clean this out before oh we go. <laughs> we forgot about that. Forgot to do that. Um, and then we had our little kitchen. We didn't actually cook very much, mm -hmm. but I mean, we would make tea every morning, mm -hmm. boil our little kettle. Yeah, it was cool. We turned on the stove with the match. Yeah, with gas. Gas. And then we had this cool toaster. Yes. You basically you just put your slice of bread on here, yeah. and you flip it, and it toasts. We have our sink, little microwave for heating things up, like empanadas whenever we pick yeah, up that was, some Yeah, that was our food. breakfast this morning. We. He did some bananas, that. some facturas. Okay. It was really good. So let's and check out. The, oh, oh, there's the bathroom. the bathroom. We do have a bathroom. It's a little bit wet because yeah. we both just showered. Just give so you a tiny glimpse. A so quick peek from in here. Bathroom, bidet, shower, lots of hot water, of course the sink, and that's all we need to show. That's all we need to show. Um, one that brings us to the upstairs. I love the stairs going up. Like this yeah. is a solid. Salt, the solid wood awesome. and then spiraling all the spiraling way. Spiraling wooden okay. staircase. Lead so the way. So that brings us to the first bedroom. And it's like the echo from downstairs is gone. Here there's more like soundproofing and insulation. Whoa, I just noticed that. Um, so yeah, here we have two single beds. If you're a family with two kids or visiting with friends, two people can stay here. And I just love the walls. Again, more logs. It's all wood. The floors, the walls, the ceiling. And there's like cool designs as well, like horizontal and then diagonal. Yeah. It's just so warm and cozy. Loved it. Big, thick, wooden door. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Heavy duty. That, that is heavy duty, guys. That is some serious thickness. Yeah, and then that brings us to the main bedroom, the master bedroom. 
big double bed. Yes. We had two little nightstands with lamps. And yeah, it was just so nice. There's so many windows here. We've got one, two, three, four, five windows. It lets in so much natural light. And just as I say that, the sun's like, <laughs> I'm going to scream in and prove that is correct. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. We also had a place to hang our clothes. Yeah. Little chair of spare blankets we did not need the blankets like no. i would wake up in the morning like so oh, yeah it all off. it's so warm yeah and yeah, aside great. from the inside of the the cabin which was awesome there's mm -hmm. also a really cool outdoors area with a garden uh, yes. a grill and so we should take you outside and show you the rest of that yeah we really should oh another thing i should mention these cabins are airbnb host valentine renovated them mm -hmm. which is awesome and like he just finished doing so yeah. like one month before we decided to stay here yeah so, so it was a, 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 a must have been a really fun project because they had hadn't been in use for quite some time yeah we were some of the first guests i think we were like number four or number five yeah. on airbnb but it's just been such a great find and like it made our stay in el bolson extra special yeah so yeah, anyways, let's head down and let's show you the garden. It's got like ponds and gazebos. It's beautiful. Now for the outside tour, I am going to bundle up because the temperatures are dropping. It's a little jacket and we'll show you the ground. We also had three wonderful pets. Oh my goodness. A super sweet dog, baby kitten, a mama cat. They, they made this day extra special. We're gonna miss we them. We fed them and gave them lots of pets the whole time. Ooh, so we should show you what this place looks like. I actually think they're the neighbor's pets, but... They, yeah, but <laughs> yeah. they spent more time with us. Yeah. I feel like we adopted them for 10 days. <laughs> Ta-da! This is it. This is the cottage. Check that out. But let's go look at all the flowers and things. Thanks. So the grand tour begins. We have this beautiful path lined with stones. Yeah. And then there's like this little man-made stream yeah. that runs through the property. It continues down that way. We have a cool wheel from an old carriage, yeah. I'd imagine. A gazebo. Little gazebo, which is super nice for hanging out in the afternoon if you want to drink some tea or some mm -hmm. mates, get in the Argentine spirit. Yes. Lots of flowers. Lots of flowers. There's a nice little pond down there. Yeah, great and picnic then, table, covered oh, picnic yeah. table. Here's the pond. The pond. <laughs> and this is where we had our barbecue when we tried making our first Argentine asado. It went pretty well, did, I would say. Um, this is where we Shockingly well. This is where we <laughs> cooked, where we made our barbecue, yeah. our asado. A nice rustic grill. Yeah. And then if you see over here, there's the wood. Yeah, and, and there's, there's another a, pile. Furthermore, there's a bigger pile over there. So yeah, just a really peaceful place. And we're only a 15 minute walk from the downtown, downtown. So honestly, it turned out to be the perfect place because just hear the sounds of nature, yeah. birds, the wind, and I don't know, I love it. Yeah, I mean, if you come to El Bolson, you're not coming for like an urban experience, you're coming for no, nature. No, you're coming for nature. Lots so, of hiking and like yeah. outdoor adventure stuff. I, I'd much rather be slightly away from the city center. Right now you're hearing like birds chirping and yeah, yeah this is great. And you can see the mountains. Yes. You guys, we experienced some of the most magical sunsets while we were here. Like the mountain just turns orange. So yeah. That's the place. Now we need to go gather our bags. We're going to have a quick bite in town with Valentin yeah. again. Yeah. Then we're going to get on the bus, go to Bariloche, then Villa Langostura, and that's our travel day. We made it to Vida Langostura. Our apartment yeah. was just 
one block from the bus terminal. Slow tripping so in Argentina is so nice. These these short days of, of the bus rides, like we haven't had an overnight journey since what, Chileu? All the way to Chileu Esquel. To yeah. Just two short bus rides. Like, I feel good, I feel fresh. Can't wait to explore this place. But before yeah. we do that, we need to get some groceries. Grocery shopping. Yeah. We are back from the supermarket. We went yes. to La Anonima. Yeah, we did. That's a really big supermarket here in this town. And boy, was it busy on a Sunday evening. Ooh, we went and got a nice little stash of groceries that'll hopefully last us for the five days that we're here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's uh, it's pretty typical what we tend to get. We get, yes. our, we get our meat and our cheeses and our fruits our and our wine. Got that ingredients. Yeah, so big bag of Granny Smith apples. We have some hard cheese. Nice hard cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was a nice find. It's our first time to buy watermelon. Watermelon. On this trip. Excited for that. Got a new wine. We were, I think we were attracted by the horse. And it was also placed in between two wines yes. we really enjoy. So we're like, <laughs> okay, he's in good company. Yeah. And we've never tried this this one, um, Eugenio Bustos. And um, yeah, just everywhere we've gone, we've tried to like pick a different wine, uh -huh. trying to get a different one. So. That would be interesting. We've got soda water, salted almonds, pepperoni stick, salted crackers, walnuts, eggs, and green pepper. And guys, this what was like this came to the equivalent of twenty five US dollars. Twenty five US dollars. Yeah, I mean this probably won't be our our only shop, but it'll give us some picada options. Mm -hmm. the week, which we like. And now where are we off to? Duh. Dinner Marisha. time! Yeah, so our hosts recommended a place right across the street. It's yeah. called El Esquiador, the skier. Yeah. And apparently they have amazing food. You can yeah. eat at the restaurant it's or do Marisha, takeaway. Take I think we'll eat there. What's cool is that this street is like a few, it's a few blocks removed from like the main commercial center. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this might be a bit of a hidden gem. So Ooh. looking forward to it. There we go. Well guys, we're back home. Belly's Have full. Good meal. And at yeah. this point, we're just gonna say good night. Good night. We're tired. We're tired. See you we'll soon. We'll see you soon with more adventures from Vida Langostura. Yes. Ta -ta. <laughs>